all right guys so you're gonna need a 19 millimeter socket 18 millimeter socket 21 millimeter uh box in open wrench or whatever um a little mallet you're gonna want a big ass crescent wrench to potentially help you a little bungee cord to help uh, suspend the um, pan hard bar all right all right so see i like to get the thing bungee cord right here kind of already going so when i take this bolt out i got something to help me hold it up i was already taking this one out but 19 millimeter back it out swing it out the way now you're ready to install the bolt-on uh, pen hard correction kit okay next if you're going to be using a shorty version or you're going to be using the sec the bottom hole on the on the normal height uh, pck you're going to need to clearance this area right here so there's this little tab that was used for um the abs line to clip in back here but we're not gonna we're not even using these no more so you make this like thinner so that the flange on the nut for the main bolt will clear this area if you're using a shorty or um the the bottom hole on the standard height pck okay and then uh next you're gonna um this area right here is gonna for sure be tight it's a combination of being this design being super tight tolerance with the powder coat and all that and then um just this being a little pinched from the factory in order for it to like pinch the pen hard the factory pen hard bar okay so you might can you're probably gonna have to get a like a big ass crescent wrench and like massage it a little open in every direction okay massage it kind of thing Put it like this all right massage it and then uh take away the powder coat from here if i didn't do it already you might even have to like grind it down just a little bit but this is basically you're going to fit it in and eventually you want to drop it in to where you can get the factory bolt and get the threads going once you once you can do that easily you know that it's perfect okay and now we're going to start to put the thing together uh we got a wing nut right with the welded nut to this plate uh there's a longer end and there's a shorter end and then the nut's going to face up Longer end is going to get slipped in first going towards the front of the vehicle. It goes up and then kind of like back and you kind of like want to center it as best as you can or just place it there. Then you're going to get the front half bracket, right? And you're going to feed it the main, the main bolt, the main factory bolt. Get about, you know, five, six turns in. Then you're going to try to fish for the bottom one. So... I found a hole. I'm going to get a good, I don't know, five, six, seven turns in, right? Next bolt will be the side bolt. Same thing. I'm going to get a good amount of turns in, five, six turns in. Now I'm going to get my pan hard. Get the other, the main bolt for the pan hard. Slip it through. Get the nut back there, right? Once I get the nut back on, or on, the first bolt I'm gonna touch is the factory bolt. I'm gonna suck it up. Okay, that's not like torqued down yet, okay? So that basically is gonna force the front half bracket towards the back or towards the front of the truck. All right, it's gonna stand, start sandwiching the whole system. And then uh, next bolt you want to get is uh, the bottom bolt. All right, I'll use like an impact. I get it pretty snug. Like you, you even start to see it like want to flex the, the actual bracket a little bit. And then the next one you want to get is the side bolt. Okay. Um, all right, so I'm talking down that side one. Those are the bottom nut and the side nut is a self-locking nut. All right. I'm going to torque those down to about uh, 95 pounds. Same thing with that one. This one's going to get blue lock tight. This nut's going to get blue lock tight. 
All right, and then now last thing you wanna do is you're just gonna get a 21 millimeter open or a box in. All right guys, once you guys have everything torqued down, uh, I really suggest you guys start learning or just putting some hash marks or like little paint marks to help with um, seeing if bolts move or not. It should be good practice for you guys for when you guys are out in the field. But uh, I like to use this brand right here, Revlock Race Supplies. They work really, really well. And then the pink pink one really stands out. So you get to like see it from far away. They got some other really cool colors as well. All right, guys. Thank you.